All right, Dr. Catherine, so our next question is, what do you do if you were bitten by an animal? Um, and the next part of that is, um, what is rabies quarantine? Okay. So first, um, seek medical attention. If you are bitten by your own animal, your friend's pet, a neighbor that you don't know, a wildlife animal, seek medical attention. Okay, that's foremost very important. Secondly, it is the law that you call that bite or deep wound to scratch into the parish animal services. So they are um, running the law. They will determine if that pet needs to have an at-home rabies quarantine or a in-clinic or in-shelter rabies quarantine. And what rabies quarantine is, is your pet is boarded, okay, for 10 days. And they have to have a veterinarian exam at the entrance of the stay. In 10 days to the hour, a post exam or an exit exam. So the reason for that is in protecting public health. If an animal is capable of passing rabies or mm -hmm. infecting another animal for rabies, um, it's actually going from their nerve system to their salivary glands, and that's how that happens. They will show neurologic signs within 10 days yes. if they were able to pass it from that bite. Correct. So that's what we're looking for is to know, is that person at any risk if this animal has rabies. Yeah, so every day we're monitoring their behavior, their salivation, are they eating, are they drinking, all of those types of things that we're trained to, to monitor those types of patients for. Um, and then after the 10 days, if we didn't see any of those symptoms, we'll contact the parish services and they will allow the pet to go back to their house. And, and, so, and this is important because there are a couple documented cases in our area of rabies. Um, and luckily, um, it's not something that we're seeing in the pet population because the vaccine is really good, mm -hmm. but it's the wildlife population. And so um, never or your families never play with a bat, particularly a skunk, um, any of these animals that are nocturnal animals that are out in daylight or they're establishing um, strange behaviors, they let you walk up to them, uh, there's a good chance they could have rabies and that's something we see a couple times a year. Yeah. And the last part is if the pet is not up to date on their rabies vaccine and they were the one that bit or scratched to where blood is exposed, they will be required to be up to date, so we will administer that vaccine before they go home.